welcome to the masters not sure who's gonna be on zoom let me go plug in facebook all right that's recording Welcome over here on Facebook. I think I've got everything running now. Let's see what kind of lag I've got. I think I've, I'm recording. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like there's a big lag on Facebook, but we'll do what we can do. Welcome again. I'll try and keep an eye on these comments a little better this time. Let's see. So... All righty. So we are going to finish our Monet today. Um, oh, I can't see. There's my, my Zoom, my Zoomers. There we are. All right. So the painting is indeed called Water Lily Pond with the Japanese bridge. The Japanese bridge part, I didn't know. But um, that's okay. So we are going to finish this Monet today. I hope my music I think it's kind of loud. So is my family. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get started. And if you're on Facebook, please let me know that you're here. I'm going to See, I, I don't even see the message that I just put in myself, so it's weird. Moderation. Your pals will be able to leave comments. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so today we are going to work on so we got a lot of the highlights and the greenery in the background and can start to visualize the the pond now um, that we've left some space if you left some space i left a lot of white canvas so um that's fine and We are going to get some flowers in here. We've got some blue and burnt sienna to put on some of these bushes on the sides. And then of course our blue ridge with some highlights and some low lights and we'll make the rest of the painting pop. So this will be a fun one. Um, we are going to put a little bit of blue in the background in these darker areas. I think I'm going to even put some medium greens in here. I think that's what I said we were going to leave off with. And I was going to grab um, what I'll do is like hunter green. Going to um, mix some of the yellow, your golden yellow, with the um, you, if if you have either the phthalo green or that um, was it deep black green, we're gonna mix the yellow and that deep black green to get kind of a medium green um, to add on top of some of the the darker areas. Okay, so um, and if you have your light hauser green you can use some of that too just kind of have fun with this um we'll be mixing 
red and white for the pink flowers. You see pink in there, you see some purples. We'll have our purple out. We'll use our Calypso blue for the bridge and then the other blues and the flowers and um, some of those blue highlights that we're seeing in the background. So Calypso blue for that. Um, these bushes on the sides, you can see it's kind of an orangey kind of brick brownish color. We'll use your um, burnt sienna for that. And if you want to darken a little more, um, feel free to use your um, burnt umber, okay? So, whoops, so have all those colors out. So your golden yellow, your Tuscan red, your white, your purple, the one that looks like this. <laughs> Um, I said Clipso Blue, your Light Hauser Green, if you want to use it, and your Thalo Green or the Deep Black Green. Burnt Sienna, Burnt Number. Alrighty, I'm going to start with my, um, my glasses on. I will start with my flat brush, okay? This kind of, I think it might be a little smaller um, flat brush than what you guys have. It's a newer one I bought because I needed a different one and it came in a pack so I'm going to use this. Um, I'm going to start with that green. So I'm going to mix up some green. Lighter green or a more medium green. Um, we have some medium green in here but we didn't go throughout so I'm going to just plop down some of this phthalo or your deep black green and get some of my gold and yellow. We did this with the kids group. Um, the last, last week we painted and of course they finished before I was even ready to finish. <laughs> they were quick and um, but they, I think they had a lot of fun just throwing lots of color down. I'm gonna double check that we don't have anyone Facebook here. Let's see. Panel discussion. All right. I think so far Facebook looks okay. So I'm going to get started. And if you end up joining me, just remember you can go back and watch the recording on Facebook. And um, finish your painting. All right. So I'm just going to kind of use the corner of my little flat brush here. And I'm just gonna kind of dot in, so you get my picture a little closer here. I'm just gonna use the corner of the brush to dot in this medium green. So I made, you can kind of see um, right there, I made just a medium green, kind of a lighter, a lighter medium green. It looks like it matches what we did last time. So I'm just gonna dot in this, I'm not totally filling in. I wanna see a lot of that dark green in the background. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of bring some highlights to this dark green here. And not a ton of it. I think I'm gonna bring some of this green into here where I've got some canvas still showing through. So I'm going to dot in this medium green anywhere. I've got white canvas. Get that covered up and it's helped bringing this actual shade of green throughout our painting. Oh, somebody's in. Someone's in Facebook. Yay! I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> I need to bring this screen here. There we go. Now I can see my Zoomers and my Facebookers. So you just got on here and I'm mixing the phthalo green or that deep black green, that darker green that we have, uh, mixing it with the golden yellow, making a medium shade of green here. And I'm just kind of getting some um, different tones of green in on top of our dark green areas here, okay? Just using my flat brush in the corner of it and just dotting it in. 
and then carrying some of this green all the way through the other green areas. You can just kind of put it right on top of some of the yellow. And it just carries this shade of green throughout our painting. I don't know if that's some of No. Okay. Sometimes I get people that will message me. They couldn't get in or checking at a time and don't want to miss anybody. So I'm doing this darker area, just getting some highlights here. We've got some, I would call those low lights <laughs> if you're doing hair. Highlights, low lights. Um, I'm focusing on the, the darker green, just putting some of this medium green on top of the darker green areas. I just want to have lights, mediums, and darker tones. That helps um, to kind of show depth, the depth perception. And um... oh, really? You know what? I think it is, Karen. I think it is my um, Wi-Fi. I've had a real hard time lately with our Wi-Fi. Even phone signals have not been very good. Um, I think you're over on Messenger. Let's see if I can get you on Messenger. I wonder if I can check my signal. I'm not sure if I can on any of these screens. <clears throat> Let me look, Karen. Okay. Um, yes, Karen, if you want to pop over to Zoom, um, if this recording is really bad, I can kind of tell there's such a lag that I'm seeing. Um, in Facebook. I will end up just posting this to um, my YouTube channel and I'll send that link out. Um, yes, I am on Zoom. So if you can um, get to the link that you used last time, um, go, you can go ahead and be over there. Um, I'm kind of concerned if it's my Wi-Fi connection. It might not be any different, but let's hope. So um, do you have that link? It looks like, I think that, yeah, the link is just above in our messages, Karen. And the greens are your, that, um, that phthalo green, that darker green, or it was either phthalo or um, the deep green black or deep black green, that weird one. Um, so look at your link that's above in our messages, Karen. <clears throat> I apologize for the recording if this is really bad in F Facebook. I will put it in um, on my YouTube channel um, I'll, I'm recording also on Zoom, so got a couple ways to, we can do a playback. Um, I should put in Facebook. All right, sent a message in Facebook. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's so weird. 
Okay, now I see Andrea's there. Um, the Zoom link, let me put it in right now, Andrea, hold on. I'm so sorry, I don't know what is going on. I just think it's our Wi-Fi. It's been bad lately, I don't know what happened. Um, doo -doo. One moment, one moment. Oh my gosh. Did it not send? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't type like above. All right. So I had it saved for Karen. One moment. Nine, eight, oh, four, five, four, eight. 9631 and there's some spaces. You can you you can hear me with your headphones on. Well, that's interesting. Um, does it is it like um, real choppy, Debbie? And Karen, did you are you hopping over to Zoom? I'll wait till we get everybody going here. I'm glad I found comments going. Where did my Zoom link go? Did it not even send? What in the world? Ugh. Try it again. Oh my God, Sadie, shut up. Jesus, dog. Barking all day. Four, five, four, eight. Oh, I hear somebody. No. I thought somebody popped in. Okay, four, five, four, eight. Space nine, six, three, one. All right. Is it any better, you guys? I'm so sorry. Keep keep me posted. <laughs> so, um, da, 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 da. okay, no one's over on Zoom yet. So I will focus on Facebook here. So, um, Andrea, if you happen to have any earbuds or headphones, it sounds like the sound is better with that on. I don't know why that would change. So um, I will keep at it and I'll just message this quick. Let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, I hope you got that message. Can you guys hear me any better on Facebook? I don't have anybody over in Zoom yet, just me. All right, so if you're late here or you couldn't hear me, I will post in here. <laughs> Dark green mixed with golden yellow. I'll try and type some of these in in the comments. Is 
Video is good. Okay. There's Karen. Hey, Karen. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, here, take your. I can't hear you. Take your mute. There you go. Hi. <laughs> there. <laughs> I didn't know oh, sign no. language for take off the mute. <laughs> right. I um. Do you know what the meeting passcode is? Um. I have never used one. Is there? Did you have one? It's asking me. I'm trying to. Um. Because <clears throat> you're in. It's me. I know. I'm trying to get it on my computer instead oh. of my phone so it will be bigger. I don't have one to put in, so you should be able to get in and bypass that. Yeah, it just is saying meeting passcode. And then when I hit cancel, it goes all the way out. Hmm. Okay, I'm- You want a there tablet was a or a phone? Um, the tablet. Yeah. Well, I'm on the phone, but I'm trying to get it on the computer so I don't, so it can be bigger, a bigger yeah. screen. Yeah. <laughs> there was a really long code and it said something like PWD. Oh, no. Just the numbers um, that are in Messenger that I sent you, that's all that you should need. So if you can, um, let me see. Oh, let me think. Maybe it's over here. Let me check this other screen. No. Oh my gosh, no. The other Debbie's messaging me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. A rocky start. I know. <laughs> Debbie's, Debbie Lemer said video is fine on Facebook um, and she's using her earbuds. So I guess that's okay. Oh yeah. Debbie just, um, she's actually moving back to California from New Jersey. So she just moved or flew back last week. <clears throat> so wow. she, she didn't realize that we'd already started this a couple weeks ago. Oh, cause she's been busy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's get back to it. So I used the, um, your darker green that we used last time, that phthalo green or that um, deep black green. And I'm mixing some, um, the golden yellow with it to make a medium green. And um, I'm just dotting that on the darker areas. And I don't know if that is my, Maybe that's my messenger. Getting all those dings, I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from. <laughs> so I'm just dotting it on those dark areas in the background, um, like the the deep forest, and just bring in some highlights to that, so it's not all um, real dark. And um, I'm use, using the my flat brush, and then the corner of my flat brush. And just throw in some medium tones, more medium tones, not necessarily highlights, because the yellow is more highlights. And I'm just putting some medium tones on top of the dark green. And I just want to get more dimension in the dark areas now. 
And then I'm going to bring some of this green because it's a little bit different than what I mixed up before last time. I'm going to just bring that through these other um, lighter areas, not necessarily on top of the yellow, but kind of in between to just carry the same tone throughout. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's weird if um, why the sound is being weird. I guess I can peek at my other thing here. Where's my... Check my sound settings. Because I haven't changed it and I just did a workshop for work here yesterday and it was fine. Nothing changed, so I don't know why I'm having trouble. Yeah, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Weird. Oh, well. Um, I will save it to my YouTube channel for those that, if it's too hard. Oh, great. You please send me the code. Didn't work. Oh. Oh. I'm sending the code out, you know, the code I just sent. It was number the five minute. Um, yeah. That's what I just sent to, I put on Facebook and <laughs> Andrea's oh, like, it goes to five minute self-care. It's like, oh shoot. Okay, hold on, Andrea. Oh, that's funny. That's what mine was, the recent one too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I looked at because that's what you <laughs> sent me. Hang on, Andrea. I'm trying to find it on on Facebook even so that I can just listen to you on YouTube and then just follow it on Facebook but um I should be able to find it right in here I think I'm having a connection problem on um, my end to oh. Facebook down in my basement here uh I don't want to get out of that. So that's that. Um, I don't want to close out of here either. I'm not sure how I can look. Um, hang on, Andrea. I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Copy invite link. Invitation. There we go. All right, where is the link? How, I'm not understanding what is going on with the comments on here because this is like the third time now that. I don't see comments when I enter, like I send a comment myself and it's not going through. I can refresh. There we go. Okay. So I put the link, Karen, in the comments. If you want to pull it up through there on your computer. All righty, guys. Very okay. Good. All right, so I am just putting some of the medium tone. And if you can't hear me, at least you can see that I've mixed, mixed the yellow and the dark green, made a medium green, and I'm putting that here, here on all these dark areas. 
I'm just throwing in a little bit of this medium green. Give it some dimension so it's not so boring. Now the school's calling me. <laughs> I'm going to put in a little bit of this medium green down here. I think you should be able to see. I was so nervous yesterday doing that workshop. I only ended up having three students come in to watch. Oh, a little bit silly, but it went fine. And I was glad that it worked because um, I mean, I was using the same system so they could see me do some four little art projects. And, um, but I was doing a couple of extra different steps and it's a different type of Zoom. It's Confer Zoom, probably for um, like schools, I guess. So um, I was just so nervous that it, something was going to happen. It wasn't going to work. And but it all worked out. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you had some students. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to dab in a little bit of green of the same medium green through this um, willow tree and just carrying it through to the whole painting. All right, keeping up with my Facebook comments. Where's my mouse? And watching for you, Andrea, if you hop on Zoom. Maybe Facebook is just being wonky. I don't know. It's hard to say because Debbie could hear fine. She just used her is using her headphones, I guess. So I don't know. Okay, I'm on Zoom. Where did you put the con in the comments? Which comments did you and add? Facebook? Oh, on Facebook. Yes. Okay. Now I don't even know if I'm. <laughs> I guess I'm well let me done. actually let me type it in arch well, um where could I put it I'll just type it in the phone would that be easier okay yeah that's fine I thought you were gonna put it like under Andrea's comment where she says Karen your voice is clear oh oh I see that now that's when I thought Julie had a lot of static as well sounds like Huh. Yeah, you're clear. Um, let's see. Sorry. It's this. Okay, it is HTTPS slash US zero to web dot zoom s j eight five three seven seven five eight three one five four let me see the rest of it. One, five, four. Code four, seven, three, eight, one, two. All right, it's weird that it had a passcode. So weird because I I've never used a passport. I didn't think we needed it in a private group, but whatever. Yeah. Try to keep rolling with it. <laughs> this techie stuff is not for the faint of heart. Well, it doesn't help that I changed from um, a, what was it, like a Vio, I forget what brand, computer to an Apple recently. Oh. So. Yeah, and I know nothing about Apple. I don't either. <laughs> it's 
Sounds like my my voice is coming through twice or something. Um, it will for you. It does that for me too. That's why I will usually turn one sound down because I hate that. Uh, the I see. <laughs> the echo. Okay, I think we got there she is. Coming, coming. Yay, Andrea, you found me. I hope this is better. <clears throat> yes, you are now clear. Is it? I, don't, well, I wonder if it's a Facebook thing because you were like that two weeks ago too, but your voice was louder through it all. Oh, really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Weird, huh? Sorry about that. I'm glad we figured it out. And it was funny, Karen, that's right here. She had sent me that link that I sent you and by mistake, I was thinking it was the one I sent Karen, but it was for something that she invited me to, a totally different thing. <laughs> uh -huh. So I'm reading that and thinking, what in the world? I, we did that already. <laughs> Why is that link up there? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I do my best with oh, passcode. technology, but I am no master at that. <laughs> I just wish we could get back to real in-person stuff. I miss it. Guess what? Yeah. I found the passcode. Oh. Don't ask me how. Well, it's, it's in the link that I put. Um, I guess I did send it to Andrea, but it's in the Facebook link. You did get it though? You messaged me. I didn't see it in Facebook link anywhere. Yeah, I still I had to send it, it again. The first time it didn't go through. So the second time I sent it. So it's there now. Um, you do have it handy, Karen? Yeah, I um I found oh. it because I found it on my phone on the Zoom call. Okay. And then I typed it into my computer. So I'm going to sign out on my phone now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Andrea, I don't know why it is giving a passcode because you guys have never needed a passcode before, have you? Not to my knowledge. I'd never put one in to um, require one. So that's why it's kind of catching me off guard, but we got it. And this shouldn't take as long as last time. I hope everybody is pretty much at this point um, with the darks and then the highlight, the, the yellows. Um, so I'm just kind of filling in with this medium green, Andrea. Um, I mixed that dark green that we used last time with the golden yellow and just dotting that into the darker areas and carrying it through into the lighter where I have yellow. I'm putting some of that same green throughout the yellow areas as well. And I'm gonna bring it down here um into some of the pond i know we've got a ton of green, of green. what's that or was i echoing myself i don't need to answer myself i'm just yeah. going to put that medium green in the pond just to cover up some of my white canvas that i left i just i felt like i needed um some to be able to see the pond because there's so much green but we will take care of that but i am going to cover up some of my white canvas with this medium green and then we'll be putting lots of color colorful lilies lily pad lilies across here and making the color really pop and the pond itself pop. all right All right, there's a little bit more green in there. So bring that medium green, just kind of carry it throughout your painting. Um, I forgot to fill up my prints. Okay. 
So I think we can, let me think here. We can probably do the bridge. Let's work on that bridge a little bit. I'm gonna rinse the green out of my brush and get to the two blue. And um, I didn't grab that one. There's my two blue. So we'll use the two blue. We'll use um, probably some of your burnt umber, that dark brown we'll use for some um, shadows on the bridge and then highlights we'll use our white. So hopefully this, the little bit of green I put on will dry and I'll kind of help you with some landmarks for the bridge. And really you can put the bridge wherever you want you guys. Um, I am, I'll show you one second. Let me get my green off here. All right, so I'm gonna make a dot and you can kind of see where I'm gonna put the bridge. Two blue is our blue. And I'm gonna put a dot right about here. So it's kind of high up. Let me see. So here's a mark. It's kind of hard to see on there. I'll bring it up closer. And then I've got the base of the bridge is probably around here. And then we've got, so the top of the rail is there. Midway is the middle part of the rails there. All right, so let me bring that up here. Do you see the blue? So I would say it's, if you divide the canvas in half lengthwise, the bottom half of the top area, that's where I'm putting the bridge. So, So towards the top, the top half of the canvas is where we'll put the bridge. If you wanna put it a little lower, feel free. And then on the other side, I'm going to measure with my, the end of my paintbrush. I, I do a lot of that measuring. So I'm gonna measure the first dot over here. It's right about there. The next one is down just a little bit. And the third is about there. All right, so I am just going to basically draw a line with my blue. And I feel like I need to be standing up to see this. I'm gonna lightly kind of sketch it almost like a dash line. And I do want to curve. So do you see the, that gradual curve of the bridge? We're gonna bring it up a little bit. The highest point is gonna be in the center of the canvas and then it's gonna gently come down. And then same for the middle rail here. The gentle curve downward. I probably could have even made it more of a curve. I can adjust that and we widen these lines. And then the bottom support of this bridge, I'd say it's about an inch difference here, probably an inch and a half with the other two. So I thought, I figured this one didn't really need a pre-sketch on the canvas. I figured you guys could handle it. So I'm just gonna widen each line. It does not have to be exact for anybody. I will make the bottom one wider than the other two though. 
it will give it more more weight it will appear more weighted i think that's what i think anyways and bring that all the way over All right, now I'm gonna widen the top ones. And I'm going to create a little bit more height with this curve by starting a little bit lower on the top rung of this rung, that's for ladder, the top um, rail. Someone has really noisy four-wheeler driving back and forth right by my window is so loud. All right. A little wider, I think. I'm trying to get that curve just right. Everybody having a good week so far, I hope? It has been the longest week for me. <laughs> I don't know why. I was dreading that workshop yesterday. Finally got it over with. I still had, oh, what? A couple hours left for work and the day seemed to never end. I'm gonna widen this. I might even adjust some of, now. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and remember, this is not a photograph that we're making. We're making a painting, so it can be very painterly. You can have some brush strokes that are not quite, you know, along this perfect line, because it's a painting. We want it to be loose, more loose. Put some um, shadows in this bridge and highlights. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. And then we need how many? One, two, three, four um, side supports. So I'm gonna put it, I don't want it super centered. So I'm gonna put that one that's really highlighted. I'm gonna put that to the right a little bit. Kind of like how they have it. How Monet put it, put it over here a little bit. That's just gonna go right through all three of these supports on our bridge. So that's just to the right. And then I'm gonna have another one, let's say right here. And we're actually seeing through to the one on the other side. So this is a not a two-dimensional bridge. You see the, um, I guess those supports on the back part of the bridge. So we're gonna put a little smaller one here. It's a little bit further away, so it's gonna be a little bit narrower or appear a little narrower. Like that. So we've got a couple. Make sure these supports are going pretty perpendicular to the base of the bridge. And let's see, there's the main one. And then I'm gonna put one right about here. And two over here. So one is going to be wider because that will be the one on the front of the bridge. And 
And the other one is narrower, and that will be kind of in front of this one. And this blue, this particular blue, is pretty translucent. So we'll very well may need a second coat on this. So we'll let that dry a little bit and um, throw another coat on. Some of mine is dry. Let me get that covered up right now if I can. All right, getting there. And let's go ahead and while this is drying, before we put a second coat on and start putting some shadows in, let's um, go ahead and bring some blue through the background. So the dark areas in the middle here, I'm gonna put some dots of this blue because that's what he did. He had a plan there. I like his plan. So I'm gonna just add some dots of this blue right into the dark green area. And I don't really see blue in the highlighted areas of the trees. So I'm gonna leave, leave those trees like that. But the dark areas, I see some blue there. I see a little blue over here in this dark area. These, the woods. And bring it down because I can see through part of the tree through the bridge here. Let's bring in some more of that color all the way through the painting. Where else does he have? There we go. Um, blues there. He's got a lot of blues over on the bushes over here. And we've got some bushes in front of the bridge on the left side. So um, we can add, we might even, if you want to go back in a little bit, when your blue is dry, put some of the, some green on top of the bridge on the left side. And I'll show you, I'll do that in just a moment um, when my blue is dry. So if you're following along, I'm just adding some blue over to the bush on this side, just dots like I did all the others. Um, that's very um, impressionistic to do the dots or you know short brush strokes. Okay, there's some blue there and it's got a little blue in the darker area here as well as a little bit here. I just like to bring all these colors all the way around. Um, a little bit here, there's not as much here. This is gonna be brown anyways. And what about down here? I'm not gonna really worry about down here yet. All right. So this is actually a good time while the bridge is still drying. A lot of the reflection from the sky is reflecting blue onto the pond. And I'm seeing a lot of blue. So we've got blue going. Let's carry through with our pond. And I'm going to kind of make a, not really a wavy stroke, but a horizontal stroke, thicker and thinner. So I'll press on my round brush I'll press a little more firm to get a wider, to spread those bristles, get a wider stroke and then let up and down and up and down. So we kind of get a thicker and thinner line. I don't want necessarily a straight line, but I'm just gonna kinda, I wanna make sure <laughs> I'm parallel. I don't want an uphill pond. Um, I'm just going to kind of bring this same blue in almost lines going across our pond. Okay. It will cover up the yellows. If we need to put, I don't think we will, but if we need to put um, some more yellow back in to highlight, we can. But let's just get this pond going here. I think this will look kind of cool. I did not paint this ahead of time um, because I thought it would just, it would be fun. I knew, I didn't feel it would be very hard. So I didn't feel like I really needed to 
have it done before I taught it to you guys. So I'm just looking at his painting and in, I guess interpreting what I see. So some thicker and thinner areas and like this area. I'm going to go right across the top of the green because the green is just a shadow, a shadow reflection, not shadow. It's just a reflection from the green, the dark green here looks to me. So I'm just kind of doing that kind of thick, thin stroke across. Let's see. I don't think anybody else is on Facebook. Good. Bad connection over there. And I'm going to bring a little bit here. So I'm not making one long line across for each area. I'm making, I'm kind of breaking it up, I'm making some. This is a little bit shorter section here. This one right here is what I carried all the way across. This is a little shorter section right here. There's a fair amount of blue he's got from, I'm assuming the reflection from the sky, so. You can be a little generous, but you don't want it to be too, too blue. We've got lots of other colors to come in. And Just keep going. If you have a wider spot on the line above, kind of adjust it so it does more of a group. So you don't have it lined up necessarily. And we're gonna carry this blue right over to the edge of the pond. So the edge kind of ends right here on this area. Um, we've got this bush right here. I'm going to bring some blue there a little bit and I'm going to end my blue. I think this can go right across and I'm going to put the red bush on top right here. So. I will not put blue there, it'll get covered up. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna skip a little space here. I'm gonna leave about an inch, inch with no blue here, okay? And this window. A little blue here. Um, and some more a long line of blue. All the way across this area. Try to keep these lines or rows pretty parallel all the way across. Um, add some more here. Probably end up putting a lot more blue in eventually. It's almost hard to tell if some of the blossoms are blue. Kind of in the foreground here, it looks like there's a lot of blue um, blossoms. But I am thinking some of that back in the background of the pond is 
reflection from the sky. I sure think it would be so cool to see this in real life one day. And so I've, I put some darker green at the bottom in our foreground here. I'm putting some blue right on top of that, on top of some of it. Kind of keep adding this blue. I really like this shade of blue. And there's quite a bit of blue down here. So when you think you've got enough blue in, then we can switch it up and start with some, make some pink if you'd like, or purple. You can go right to purple. Um, I'm going to add a fair amount more blue. I think you really want to offset all the green. That's why adding a little blue all the way around kind of helps get rid of a little bit of that green. <laughs> Lots of lily pads on this side. Let's see. Bring some blue in here. And my blue on my bridge is just about dry. So I'm going to, since I finished this section here, I'm going to start adding in some more blue to my bridge, get a more solid color going. All right, that helps. Um, I think I still need some more. But, so we'll put a little accent. You're doing some accents with that Calypso blue. We'll put, we can put on top of the blue that we put in the pond, as well as um, some strokes in the bridge. It's just that it's more of a turquoise. Um, so I think it'll help make that pop. Be a cool addition. All right, and back to my bridge. And if we want to go right from the two blue here on the bridge to your Calypso blue, um, you can add it while your two blue is still wet. And it will mix right on the canvas if it mixes a little bit. I'm going to try that myself. I sure hope you can't hear my kids over the speakers. <laughs> I think there are special speakers that are at least in Zoom that you're not supposed to be able to hear outside sounds much. But my kids are playing upstairs or the younger boys are playing and they're being pretty loud. All right, second coat on these vertical boards here on our bridge. I'm not being exact at all. I'm just getting a second coat on just to get some coverage. And again, I'm not worrying about any perfect lines. No worrying allowed. I want you to enjoy yourself. And golly, I'm using more blue than I expected. And a second coat on the middle section.
<clears throat> there we go. All right, one more. I'm happy with that second coat. That helps a whole lot. Widen this base, these baseboards a little bit more. All right. So the last video we talked about moving to Florida. Apparently, John has changed his mind. He does not want to up and leave kids that aren't quite ready to move out. They're still trying to save some money. So he wants to wait a while. So not moving for now after all. It'll be one big less stress to deal with right now. And it sounds like we might be opening up our campus for summer semester. And I might actually have students to see. That's very exciting. I think I have seen, well, I had to see one student four times for the nursing student. We do a two-step TB test process and got to see that student four times within like three or four weeks. That was wonderful. So I think I've now seen about six students in a whole year. It's just ridiculous. And I wasn't sure I was going to be able to continue doing that because I just, I about had enough, but they have high hopes of opening up for summer semester, so I'm hopeful. All right, I'm happy with that blue. Other blue down here. I add a little more line. Just a little bit through here. All right, um, now let's grab some Calypso if you haven't already. And let's try a little bit and just put some highlights in where it's a little bit brighter. I almost see a green in there what he did, but I'm just going to, let's see. So this wider one I'm gonna call our, um, our front. Just gonna put a couple swipes to kind of emphasize this as a front support to the bridge. And I'm gonna do the same on this one. You can't really see, it doesn't really show the one behind it. So I'm going to a little, just a few strokes of the Calypso on that one. And this one. Just some gentle, loose brush strokes. And then the second one over here. So these other two are going to leave darker, so they look further behind, right? And I grab a little more Calypso. Let's bring some brush strokes of that. Just a section here, maybe a section here, here. Just kind of some highlights towards the top. And do it on the middle 
rung as well. Just a little bit. This helps um, show that the the supports, these two supports that are on the other side of the bridge are in the background more. Not a funky looking bridge with too many supports. Just, just a little bit like that. And put just a little bit of this Calypso in the, towards the top of the bottom support. Just a little bit, because we're going to have more of the, um, we're going to put that umber in there for some um, shadowing. All right. Now, let's bring some Calypso into our blue down in the pond. It's been about an hour, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna start towards the top here. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of Calypso on top of the blue that I put in the trees behind, just a little bit, just a few little dots. Um, I think that's all. I'll put some Calypso over here, though. And I'm going to, so he's got like a, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, um, if you have a bigger monitor, it looks like there's a, whoops, blue, almost a viney shrub. And I'm going to kind of draw a viney shrub back here. I'm going to add some more of the other blue too. And a little more of our two blue to this viney shrub. Okay, and now Calypso in the pond. So I'm just kind of dotting in on top of the blue, the two blue that we already put in. Um, if you've got any white space, you can fill in some blue on top of that. I'm going to do that as well. So let's just get some blue in here. And just kind of, again, dragging, making a little bit thicker, a little thinner areas. Almost like connecting, um, connecting dots. I'm just kind of dragging my brush. When you have colors next to each other, your eye will kind of mix them. Um, like if you remember um, painters that do the dots, like Surratt did a lot of the um, pointillism, the dots. And his thinking was that if you put, let's say, yellow dots with blue dots, all, all mixed together, that your eyes will actually mix it and turn it green. So you will see green. So I thought that was interesting. So that's why I think if we put some of this Calypso blue on top of that two blue, it'll kind of mix and just give it a nice, um, I don't know, it gives you some more um, shades of blue. Just makes more interesting really, I think. some of this through here. Oh, 
I'm just carrying it all the way across our pond. Almost like rows, but not really rows. starting to come together. Ah! Oops, watch that. On my Renoir painting shirt. <laughs> Add a little color to his painting, I guess. That is the reason why I like short brushes, because those long brushes, if you guys have any of those that I've given you, they're too long for my tiny little hands and I always drop them. They flip out of my hand. I managed to flip this shirt one out. I don't know why. Let me know if you have questions, okay? And the lily pads in the foreground, these blossoms <coughs> will make a little bit wider. Because they're in the foreground, they don't appear as small as the ones further back. So you can make them a little wider. And I can bring this up close so you can see a little bit wider in the front here. To um, add a little bit of green, that medium green that I still have wet here, I'm going to add it to this this funny blue bush that he has in the painting. It might be hard for you to see in there, but I'm going to add a little bit of green around it. If you want to do that, you don't have to. You can totally just leave it as you have it. Tyrion is trying to show off. What do you need, buddy? Oh, Sadie, there she goes again. Tyrion, you're making Sadie bark. <laughs> Do you hear him <laughs> being ridiculous? Sorry. Sitting there scraping the carpet like he's big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Now I'm going to, I think I'll mix up my pink. So the Tuscan red. And a fair amount of red. Probably. I don't know if not quite. Well, I guess it <laughs> came out to about the same white. So got a dry piece in there. So I'm gonna mix some pink, but when you still have some red, leave a little bit about a little bit of the red um, red without mixed, being it having it mixed, and we will um add, after we get pink throughout here. We're going to put some dots of red, kind of like what we just did with highlights of the light blue and the um, little bit of darker blue. We're going to do that with pink and then add a little red here and there. So I'm going to just do a few here and there. Same, kind of same what we did before with the blue. Um, the pinks and reds are going to be, and purple, are going to be a little more 
random than the blue. So I feel like the, um, the blue is more just the water um, reflecting from the sky. Um, so we have actual flowers here. And they're kind of clumped. There's more pinks here on the side and then through the middle here. Now I'm going to kind of focus on covering up my white canvas that I still have here. Oh my god. They're still driving the four by fours and it's so loud. It sent off um, someone's car alarm. Now Tyrion is all excited. The car alarm is beeping. Crazy puppy. Relax. You're okay. If we have kids driving around with golf carts. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it getting warmer up there? Um, well, we had rain today. Yesterday we had a snowstorm in town, um, like a three inches of hail oh my and gosh. lightning. And, but we did have some really nice sun. I think we did get up into the, like maybe to 60 degrees. Nice. Yeah. But it's coming. Good. Yeah, I think we hit, we were over 60 today. I don't think I even noticed in my car coming home from work, but it was getting nice. And I think by the end of the week, it's going to be well over 70. Oh, nice. So this is like spring these few days. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep our spring. I like this shade of pink too here. It's a nice contrast with the blue. So I'm trying to keep the pink more random with kind of a horizontal, um, well, I say horizontal and his isn't very horizontal. Um, I guess make it how you want it because that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm not following his technique very well, but we're making it our own, right? Random blossoms here. Let's see, that's a reflection. I don't think I want to cover up the reflection. These dark areas, I'm going to try and leave a little bit. Put a little bit of pink in there. Um, You in here. Yeah, I, I made burgers quick oh, about an hour before class, and I'm not even sure anyone came down and ate them yet. Aww. Crazy boys. And they have like two that, two of the four that actually eat like real boys. The other two are not there yet, which is fine. <laughs> I spend enough on groceries as it is. Golly. Okay. So my flowers are going to get bigger in the foreground here as well, like we did with the blue. A little wider. And then we'll go back over top of this with a little red. And you can even add a little white or even lighten up this pink um, to put on top. So I'll kind of play with that in a minute here. I'm going to try and make some of these. I guess it looks more 
um, like the blossoms if there's a vertical line. So some of these that are closer up, I'm gonna, um, or more in the foreground, I'm gonna add a vertical line to it. I don't think you notice it much in the background though. And some more pink. So I'm gonna mix the rest of my white. Actually, I need a little more white, I think. I'm gonna lighten up my paint just for a little bit lighter on top. And then I'll put a little bit of um, red. I can do a whole lot of red. I just wanna get that. Um, just a different shade, a darker shade of the pink. Whoops. That red is very potent. It's hard to get a lighter shade. I'm gonna have to do it over here. So I'm just lightening up that pink. That might be enough. And I'm putting a vertical stroke with the light pink. I'm going to try that for some of these close up blossoms. And then I'm just going to dot the pink that I did before with the lighter pink. Give it a little variety, not all of them, just a few here and there. Pop in a little bit of that lighter pink. Sadie, Sadie, you're fine. I don't hear anybody. What are you hearing, huh? All right, I still have a lot of this white canvas I need to, oh, actually we'll, we'll darken that with some brown. So I'm gonna dab into, I'm trying to wipe off. I don't really need to rinse my brush of the pink. I'm gonna just dab into the white that I have right here that I was mixing. That and just dot a little bit of white on some of these for a highlight. Um, maybe a few of these in the background. purple and then we'll put a little dark into the pond and then work on those bushes on the sides and kind of finish up. I'm not even going to rinse my pink off. I'm just going to go right to the purple. And I wonder, let's see, I guess he didn't put a lot of purple throughout. I guess it was just the blue. Um, more random areas. I'm going to try and get more of the white canvas covered up purple. So probably smaller dots and towards the back. A little larger blossoms in the front. And you could probably even lighten this up if you'd like. I'm going to do a little more lavender than 
violet. I think this was called violet or purple. And this is kind of a tra pretty translucent purple as well. So if you need a second coat, you can pop that on after this dries a little bit. And the purple just kind of adds to our color scheme here of pretty flowers. kids. It's getting dark too. And I don't think they have lights on those. It just makes me nervous. You're all right, Sadie girl. You're all right. It's okay. Let's see. More bigger lilies in here. go back to that red. I will rinse now. I got lots of shades happening in this pond. I'm going to dot a little bit of red on some of these pink lilies here. Sadie, they are so loud, aren't they, girl? Dot that red in. Create a little more dimension. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The barking chorus I've got going on over here. Sorry. Hey. Hey, Tyrion. Tyrion. Come here. Come here, T. Come here, buddy. Come here. Sit yourself down in your bed. Good idea. Okay, there's some more red. Alrighty. Now I'm going to um, let's do our do some shading in the br the bridge, and then we'll get the bushes. Done. So if you have a a clean spot on your plate, a little bit of spot right here. Um, get your. We'll need a little bit of the burnt umber, the darker brown. And next to it, I'm going to get my burnt sienna, your um, more orangey brown, lighter shade. I'm going to put some of that next to it. And we'll work with both of those colors to finish up here. Get some shading. Too much. All right, so I'm going to start with, I think, my burnt umber, the darker brown. So he's got. Um, back here by the bushes here, he's got some more, um, kind of a burnt umber. I'm just kind of dotting it in towards the bottom of this dark area. If you want to kind of put it, um, in places around the edge of the pond, I think it kind of gives you a division of where the 
water is and where the land is, the bushes. So I'm putting some of that in. You're going to have less reflection there, of course, because it's covered, it's shadowed in the edges there. I'm going to bring some of that. Just kind of dotting it along as I go. And not all the way around, just kind of in places. And then right here on this um, bush here, he's got, we're go, we're gonna, we'll put both browns in here. I'm going to kind of squiggly draw in some branches of whatever this kind of bush is. It's got more reddish brown. It's really hard to see what it exactly what it is in his picture, but just bring in a little bit of kind of branches. If you can just kind of draw in some branches, real nondescript. I'll bring that up close so you can see. See, I just got the idea of some branches in there, and then we'll do similar to the other side. Then we'll put the medium brown on top. And I'm going to do a little bit of that as well here. This bush in here. Where else did I want to put some? All right, I'm going to put some of this dark brown in the middle here. So I've got the this darker area that's the reflection from the trees back here. Um, some of this white canvas I still have. You don't have that. That's fine. I'm going to fill in some downward strokes to show the reflection. Like this. Oh my goodness. Tyrion, stop. Hey. Tyrion, come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Stop. And I just want to darken this because usually a pond doesn't really have a lot of light areas. It's usually pretty dark. And I see a lot of dark areas in his. And then we'll put a little bit of dark in between some of our blue, some of the, the lily pads. We'll put a little bit of dark in there as well. So I'm just doing downward short strokes with the burnt umber. I'm actually kind of filling in where I had the canvas bare. I probably could have filled that in a little more with some green or yellows, but that's okay. And I'm going to go kind of. Hey, Sadie. Oh, goodness. I wish they would go home. Noisy kids. So I'm putting some of this um, dark brown or burnt umber kind of on top of the green, this green shadow here, or the reflection of this bush. I'm going to carry that over a little bit. I'm really just trying to fill in 
the white canvas and darken the areas with the brown. I am trying to keep it more of a vertical stroke here. Bring some over here, like I see he has. getting there and if you want to bring in um, this brown into little areas back here just to give a little bit of shadow between the lily pads um you can bring in some here along the edge of the pond on this side like so Else do I have dark? It's more dark in this area. Where the, some of that darker green was, I'm going to put some of the brown on top of that to even give it some more shadowing or shading. And do I see any in the foreground? There's a little bit. So let's put some, do the foreground with more of, with my brown, I'm gonna do more of a um, horizontal line. Kind of on top of the green. I'll just give it a little more depth and darken, kind of darken the green. I think of a pond more dark than super, super bright. What will help is when we step several feet back, we're all done. And all these colors, these dots and everything will really come together. And I think it's going to look really cool. I hope you're happy with this. I just love painting. Monet stuff. I'm gonna bring some brown over here and I'm gonna put a little bit of the um the burnt sienna, the lighter brown, that orangey brown, I'm gonna put in on top of those bushes. Oh we need to let's do some shadows in our bridge quick. I think I'm gonna darken the bottom of this bush here. All right, so I'm going to put a little, so towards the top of the bottom, um, the bottom support, the base of the bridge, right here, I'm going to put in What color is on your brush? Um, the burnt umber, the darker brown still. Okay. So I put the darker brown down here in the pond for dark, darker areas. And then I'm doing the same in the bridge. And just putting some lines through. I'll put it up close in a second here. So on the bridge, I just did it right there. It probably has some shadowing there because the boards on the top part are sticking over, hanging over. So I just wanted to kind of give that some dimension. We'll put some more in. Um, maybe just a little bit. I 
and a little bit on the top. Just a little bit. And a little bit on the um, one, two, these four um, supports. All right, and I'm not going to rinse. I'm going to go right over to the orangey brown. This one. So your burnt sienna, the lighter orangey brown. I'm going to add um, kind of around or on top of the brown that we put over here. Make sure you can see that. And I want to see, I might have to put a little bit more of the darker brown on the bush. I want to see a little more depth with this orangey bush. And I think a little bit here. Let's kind of carry this orange kind of in around the edges of the pond in the bushes. I think it's a similar shrubbery that is just kind of growing all around here. And that, again, we'll carry that color around as well. And then there's more. There's more of that same bush over here. That burnt umber, that's another translucent one, apparently. So I'm going to add a little more burnt umber in a minute to darken some of this. And I'll hold this up close in just a second. So there's that bush. Just getting some of that burnt sienna in there. A little bit along the edge of the pond. And then that bush on the right. And let's see in this picture. Yeah, there's not a lot of shadow in this bush here. Still have a lot of white spaces in here. Let's see, where can I darken it a little more? Get another coat of the brown, the burnt ember, back on these bushes. Give it a little more depth, a little bit. It's not super dark on top of the greens and blues, apparently. That's okay. Um, there's a little bit of darkness with this tall little tree or whatever it is. How are you guys coming along? Okay. You feel yeah. like you're getting close to the end? <laughs> sound is, I think my sound is turned up, yep. Okay, good. Um, I want to put some highlights of white in just a few areas on the bridge. Then I think I can be done. Just at eight o'clock. So he's got more highlights, so a little bit up here. Oh, yeah. 
and he's got a highlight kind of here and up here. So there's a couple, another one here, and highlight the underside of the rail here. Um, maybe highlight here. Uh, highlight here. A little less highlighting over here. I'll put just a little bit. Maybe the rail. That's about all the highlighting I think I'll do on the bridge. If you want to just kind of play around with it and add fill in some spaces. I might even fill in a little bit of um, yellow and green in the pond. I don't know. I have to step back and look at it from a distance and see if it needs anything else. Um, even a different shade of yellow for a little bit more highlights if you want to try that. But I think I'm pretty happy with it for the most part. I'm wondering what I can change in this. I don't know. Maybe more yellow. Looks more yellow in real person than it does on the screen. <laughs> so now I don't know if I need Maybe I don't need anything. Maybe it's fine as it is. Another thought would be to, you've got um, a light and a dark Hauser green. It's a different tone than the phthalo green or that deep black green. Um, either the, the hunter green or the, um, what was it? The other dark green you have, you could try that too. Um, if you just want to throw in some more greens, I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with it. Doesn't have to be exactly like his, right? <laughs> it's similar. I might recognize it if it was just hanging on a wall. I don't even know if maybe putting a little bit of yellow in some of the, like even this bush, I don't know, some of these bushes, let me see if I can try a little bit. Like almost more of an orange tone for some highlights on the that bush. Just try a little bit. Yeah, actually, so I mixed a little bit of the yellow, the golden yellow, with um, your burnt sienna and just putting some little highlight touches on the, the brown bush over here on the side. It does kind of help it pop. Gives it a little bit more definition. You can always mix these same colors that we're using, um, mix them. I wouldn't necessarily get some another shade from our bag, um, but just use some of these same tones, mix them and um, use them in your painting. Put a little bit of 
highlights over here. I'm all about the different shades of the same tone. I think I'll even bring some of that to this bush over here. I kind of like it. It's almost a light, looks like a, a tan. Not as orangey as I expected. And I'm just kind of outlining or highlighting the branches. Not all of them, but just getting some. So it can kind of, it defines the branches a little bit. Hold that up. If you can tell. Just throwing a little bit of that yellow in burnt sienna. Well, I think I can call it done. I think, I think. So how are you guys coming along? What color are you working on, Karen? Um, I actually put a stream of blue water through one of my, the plant to the right. And so oh. I corrected that. I oh. went back and repainted it yellow and green. Oh. Kind of good, that works, it, but it's not as obvious. No reason why you can't have a stream around the bushes or tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can make it your own pond, it doesn't have to be oh, his. <laughs> but WWMD, what would Monet do? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't think Debbie Lemer is on Facebook. I think the one is probably me. So I don't know if she left and will do it on her own. Oh, she might. Maybe. I saw her again last night. And oh, I, did you? I always forget to ask her if she's going to do this. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Have you talked to Julie Brown, downtown Julie Brown? Yes, we were at her house for oh. our small group. Oh, how is she? She's doing good. Good. They've been getting out and exploring, doing some bike riding and mm. um, hiking and stuff. Good for her. Yeah. Did I tell you where I'm going? You did. I did. Okay. Are you leaving soon? Um. Easter, actually, Easter Sunday that afternoon. Oh, okay. And Cannot it, wait. Like Bryce Canyon, are you going there? Yep, Bryce, Zion, and um, Grand Canyon, and a few places in between. That's oh. called, I found it, it's called, or people call it the Grand Circle. Yeah. Just go in one big loop. It'll yeah, take I've of heard a lot of people that go out there do those. Really? All together. They're within like a couple hours of each other, so it's perfect. Oh, that's cool. We're going to start and end from Las Vegas. I've got a family friend that lives outside of Vegas, excuse me, outside of Vegas. So um, I need to write her and see if she'll be busy. And I think the day home, we'll spend the night in Vegas and see her before we come back this way so oh yeah that would be great yeah that's right a lot of people when they go to las vegas they go out to the grand canyon oh do they oh from there so it must huh. be close uh we live uh i mean it's a full day drive but yellowstone oh yeah and then um kind of from the highway that goes to yellowstone you can take, I think it takes, I want to say five hours, but maybe it's only three ah. um, to um, Glacier National Park. Oh, yes, yes. So we did the Yellowstone trip, but we did not make it to Glacier. And oh, really? To do that. It's pretty cold there. So 
um, you want to go like in late summer. Otherwise, the roads are still closed. And oh, right. So, but I'd love to go, Bryce. I have a friend that just went there from Kansas City with her family and another oh, wow. family. And she, I have these two friends and one laughs because I have so many friends named Julie. Her name is <laughs> someone that lives in Clovis. Oh. And she and this gal in Kansas City, plus um, some of Julie's kids are gonna do the Pacific Coast Trail this year. Oh, wow. It takes, it's gonna take them six months. And I was thinking about doing a portion of it with them, but wow. I'm pretty much, it just- Is it like hiking, backpacking? Yeah, it's backpacking. And you have to like time? run, um, getting your food shipped to you or oh my word go so into towns and it's like a planned people, trip it sounds like yeah like sometimes you won't get into a town for like two weeks or something oh and, my word that's crazy so and Dwight is going to do it too oh, um, nice. he's starting on July 24th and my friends are starting I think well they're starting in May in California and then they're going to hop up to, to the Canadian border and then come back down so that oh, they wow. can, because they're going to go slower because she's doing it for her 60th birthday celebration. So, wow. so they're hoping to meet up with Dwight and, um, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it does, but it sounds, it's really hard because I'm in the group. So I'm listening to them do their planning and mm. stuff and it just overwhelms me. Like, oh yeah. Little, how, what are you going to sleep in? What are you, you know, are you right. going to have stuff shipped to you for the colder areas and wow. all these Is things. it your own stuff that will be shipped? Yeah, like they're making it now. Um, dehydrate, so like they, they send their people. stuff that they won't need right away to wherever and then they send it to where you're going to be. <laughs> I guess so. And they have a bunch of people that are going to meet them on specific dates with supplies mm. like her husband's gonna meet them quite a bit and he's gonna they're gonna like rent a cabin and stay three nights and you know next time they'll be in a hotel and oh so oh wow so you, you do get a little bit of luxury once in a while yeah oh good i don't know what what dwight how much luxury he's gonna do but oh. <laughs> he's been it's really expensive and Mm. He's been working 60 hour weeks and he's, oh, my he says he's all saved up and has all his equipment and stuff. Wow. So, and he's what an experience be, though. Golly. I know he's going to be moving here. Um, I think, well, let's say at the beginning of summer, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, wow. And then um, we'll probably take him to the trailhead. Um, oh, yeah. uh huh. Huh, how cool. Yeah, so I love hiking, but that overwhelms me. <laughs> That's like above and beyond. <laughs> I know. I'm, I don't, like most of my friends, they're older and retired, and they often do six and seven mile hikes. Wow. But it just doesn't even appeal to me right now. I just want to get out oh. for an hour or two and get yeah. home. And, yeah. So I'm here, but I would love to do what you're going to do. Um, yeah. Just a few yeah. hours, a place. I just want to get lots of pictures so I can create lots of paintings. <laughs> yeah. Well, my one friend, she posted all these videos of them. It looked like they walked on the rocks. Oh, wow. Quite a distance to certain like arches and stuff. Oh, and you have to like walk. It looked like they were just walking on that brown. I don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> the brown or the red rock. Oh, uh huh. But because when oh. we went to Yellowstone, we didn't hardly do any hiking. We just like drove around and oh really pictures and stuff. And oh. but there's so much more to see if you go on the trails. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you have the time, yeah. yeah, I'd love to go to Yellowstone. That would be a fun trip. I if 
I came up to see you and we went up there. How long yeah. did you say a drive, a day drive? Like a full day. Yeah. I'm going to say it was 12 hours, but. Wow. Yeah, that is a trek. Yeah. I'm trying to improve my willow tree. Oh, I'm adding some calypso to my bridge. <clears throat> calypso is the light. Yeah, that turquoise, one of the turquoises. Oh. I probably didn't need to give you both, but. But it's a, our favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't, I haven't really announced it on Facebook, but Nathan and Kara are here with the baby. Yay. And um, he texted me the other day. He's like, I'd like to get some um, homework done, some studying done. Can I bring Ava over? And he brought her and she was really sleepy by that time. And so wow. I sat down with her and she slept on my chest for the first Aww. time ever. And she's two and a half. Aww. But, um, like for two hours probably. And it wow. was really special. Oh, yeah. Really well, good for it. you. You can finally play grandma. Yeah. She really likes grandpa because he went and visited them for 10 days. So she Aww. remembers him from recently. But it's so cute to hear her. You know, she says, she kind of calls us both the same. I guess it sounds like grandpa. Oh. And then um, she says, John, she doesn't quite say my name. I don't know. Yeah. We didn't come up with a cute thing for her to call me. Cause yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so glad that they're here. Oh yeah. What is he studying? Applied mathematics. What does he want to do? Teach math? Uh, I don't even know. I think he wants to go into programming, which is oh. not necessarily or web page development. Web, oh, yeah. Because um, he's kind of done that as a hobby. And yeah. he's he's trying to get that going right now mm -hmm. and work from home. Oh, yeah. While he's finishing. He just has one class to go. Oh, wow. And he'll be done like middle of next month. So close. Yeah, I can't believe it. I think it's been like nine years. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Biting off little chunks as he could, huh? Well, he was supposed to graduate like last semester or something. I can't remember if it was the prerequisites were out of order or he oh, had to redo a class or something. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah. Well, let me turn my camera on and I can show you. Okay. I'm just adding a little more of that burnt sienna into my which I should have, I want it darker. So I'm just making it a little bit darker down here. Hold it over in the middle more. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Look how high my bridge is. I blew it on that. Bit. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I wish it was lower. <laughs> That's fine, it's fine. Nice, hold it up a little bit. There, now I can see the bottom. Oh, good, yes, nice. Good. Yay. Maybe it's part one in a series. <laughs> and the next one will have the bridge lower. <laughs> yeah, it is too high. I don't know. I think it's fine. If you have to, you can always kind of repaint. Move your move your trees over top of it a little bit. Just kind of adjust it. But you really don't have to. I think it looks fine. I think I'm going to go see what everyone's doing. Okay, me too. John's been making noise in the kitchen. Oh. Hopefully it was cleaning noise and not making a mess noise. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, thank Alrighty. you so much. Well, thank
thank you for hanging out. Yeah. It was fun. Have a good one. Yeah, alrighty. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye.